Hello everybody, Adele and April here with Just Say Scrap and we are here with Technique Tuesday. So today we are going to show you some embossing and debossing with our new stencils and embossing folders. So make sure you watch our video to see what we do with them. All right, hello everybody. So today we are going to be debossed and embossed stamping. Um, so I wanted to show you how this is done because Close to My Heart has been bringing out now stencils and embossing folders that are um, in packs. So we do have a few new ones that just came out as well. Um, and as you all know, we have been running business as usual for these next two months. So we're going to just keep showing you things because we love them. And we've absolutely loved Close to My Heart's product for forever. So we're going to continue to show you how to use um, different things over the next two months and we will definitely keep you updated on how we're going to start running our business and everything like that but here we go so <laughs> i'm going to be pushing a lot of things at you um because these are things that are still available online and products that are part of our core collection so if you've ever thought about wanting to use these products or maybe getting anything like that i would definitely do it now one of the main things that i use all the time is our 12 by 12 paper organizers. This keeps all of my scraps of all of my close to my heart stuff. Um, that's what I got my journey paper out of today. It does say close to my heart on here. So, you know, we could keep our legacy alive. Um, I have this for every single one of my colors. You don't necessarily have to do that. They come in packs of three and you can purchase them with the pack of three, maybe use one for each kind of color that you have. So like Roy G. Biv or anything like that. But we definitely have them for every single color in Close to My Heart's line, which I love, love, love these folders. So that's just something to put out there for you guys. So we are going to be using our Journey cardstock today. This is our color of the year, which is absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love this color. And we're going to be using our Swiss Dot stencil and our Swiss Dot embossing folder. These two are brand new. And if you saw on our Twisted Sisters video, we also use another one of our brand new um, stencil and embossing folder duos. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to pull up our die cutting and embossing machine. This is the Close to My Heart one. I absolutely love it. This is also available still. Um, I'm getting extra cutting mats because this is like my favorite thing in the world. So what we're going to do is we have it on... Um, Letter press 2D emboss. That's what it is on the side because you can move the handles of this. And I'm just going to grab in my platform, my cutting mat. I could use the adapter if I want to. And we're going to take out this embossing folder. All right, so I'm going to just place my journey piece in here. This is a three and a quarter by three and a quarter. If anybody would like to know. And I'm just making sure that it is even because the dots are straight so I want to make sure that that's straight when it embosses it honestly feels like there's no pressure going through this but I promise you there's pressure look how beautiful that is I love it love it love it all right so because this was such a small surface it kind of did what I was hoping to do um and show you guys but I'm gonna make it even more obvious so I'm taking an emery board here and now you can really see all those circles. Isn't that awesome? So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my Swiss dot stencil. So I could have done this on white daisy cardstock or anything like that. But I wanted to show you this specific technique. So I didn't. All right, let's line up these dots. Just going to take a piece of washi tape. Throw it along the side there. Now I'm going to take my mulberry ink and this is a clean stamp or a sponge. And by doing this and by using our sander and our stencil, I'm going to be able to just get ink now onto the spots that we sanded. I kind of like that it's like a, it's not completely in the holes. I could have kept going and I could have used a blending brush as well. But we kind of got the look that I wanted to there. So see, it didn't get on any of the blue, but it got all onto those 
sanded dots, which I really like. So I liked how the sponge did that, but now I'm also gonna come in with one of our blending brushes and show you how this can get into the spots a little bit better if you wanted it really to be fully covered. There you have it. So you have the two different effects. You could kind of have it um, where it's not completely covered or you can completely cover it. So that is one of our techniques. I love to sand and then ink. You could always have done the same thing with the outside. But using our stencils and our embossing folders just really makes this just look so cool. And what's cool too is if you decide that you don't like how dark it is or anything like that, you can change it up again. And there it is muted again. <laughs> so many different things that you can do with this. All right, so I decided to go a different way because I really do like the Swiss dot embossing folder and the um, stencil, but I just thought that the dots were a little bit too small to pick up the mulberry ink that I wanted to. So we are actually going to go a different way. We're gonna end up using the Bitty uh, Flower one again. So let me pull out the Bitty Flower and let's get that embossed one more time. All right, so we have our Versamat here. Once again, a really, really awesome look. And actually looks like some of the flowers have um, now a center to the flower, which we could always cover up with some um, stickles or we could cover it up with uh, clear sparkle, bitty sparkle, anything like that. So just get all this fuzzy paper off of my my mat again and now we're gonna line up that inking I've got my sponge here and my mulberry ink so the sponge is gonna be very delicate um, I just wanted to kind of show you that or you could use your blending brush both will work I think the blending brush per personally for something like this um, does get into those little crevices of your stencil a little bit better so I'm going to just continue this with the blending brush all right let's see how amazing this looks and remember the ink will also um, go into the paper a little bit more especially since we've opened up that white area so it will become a little bit lighter as it dries but look how cool that looks so now we've created a double color paper. So you might not love this color um, combination that much. You can always do it with something different, but I just really like how we can kind of create two toned color papers now um, with just doing something simple like this. And then, like I said, if you wanted to, you could always throw some sparkles into the middle of those flowers. You can use some stickles, anything like that. Let me grab a stickle. So this is a rose gold stickle. And as you can see here, um, from this co color combination, I honestly think that the um, liquid pearl actually gave it a little bit more life because when the journey didn't kind of come out of the center of those flowers, like I said, you know, you can make centers. Um, I think it was a little throwing us off a little bit, I guess. Um, maybe I didn't pick the best color combination for this. That's why I need my love of color book which is also still available. Um, but just kind of adding a little bit to the centers of them definitely makes them now look more like flowers. But there you have it. So now you have a two color paper. This is a little bit 3D because I'm a liquid pearls. Um, but I actually think it looks really cool. So you could always use a different color combination. You can always do tone on tone as well and do the same kind of thing. Um, but I just kind of really like it. I Like I said, I might have picked the wrong color combination to show, the, to show you this. I should have probably used like a green with pink flowers. It would have made more sense, like a meadow. Um, but I really wanted to show you the color of the year, the journey. But also just look at the debossed. It also looks really pretty. And because we had sanded this, you actually got some of the color of the mulberry through the back too. So you could always use that and kind of use that as a technique if you um, wanted to. You can kind of use your emery board and 
get to the center of the paper enough that it will show through the back as well. But all right, that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And this is what it looks like when it is dried. So you can see that the mulberry definitely lessened and it definitely looks more like a pink. I like it a lot better with, with it like this. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. But we had a wonderful trip these last few days with our fellow Close to My Heart makers on our last incentive trip with Close to My Heart. And we just wanted to thank all of you for always being loyal to us and being our customers and helping us earn these amazing trips. Also, just a reminder that Cardstock Carnival is live. So if you would like to get any of the wonderful Close to My Heart cardstock that we have, you'll be getting an amazing discount if you purchase it within the next month. If you have any questions, please do let us know. We will be running our business as normal for the next two months, and then we will be sharing with all of you our next adventure. So, all right, that's Technique Tuesday. We'll see you on Thursday for Throw It Together Thursday.